Here is sped up footage of carbon dioxide bubbles being formed from the process of fermentation by yeast. Fermentation is when an organism breaks down carbohydrates for energy in the absence of oxygen. There are millions of tiny yeast cells on this slide, consuming carbohydrates and producing carbon dioxide, which eventually forms bubbles. Yeast are a type of egg-shaped, microscopic, single-celled fungus. You most likely have experience with them when baking. When baking, you may have used a package like this when making dough. This package actually contains millions of dormant, dried out yeast cells from the species Saccharomyces cerevisiae. When the yeasts are added to warm water and sugar, they become active and start consuming sugar and produce carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is what causes dough to rise and expand and gives baking items like bread a fluffy texture as well as some of the flavor produced from yeast metabolism. We can see this happen at the microscopic level as well. If we put yeast, sugar, and warm water on a slide, we can see these bubbles growing under the microscope when the video is sped up. We can see tiny bubbles forming around thousands of yeast cells. The yeast look like sand when viewed at lower magnifications. At higher magnifications, you can see the yeast around the bubbles. The yeast collectively consume sugars and produce more and more carbon dioxide. They release the carbon dioxide they produce into their surroundings where it dissolves into the water. The amount of carbon dioxide dissolved in the water continues to increase until the water is saturated with carbon dioxide, which means no more carbon dioxide can dissolve in the water. At that point, a carbon dioxide bubble can form. The bubble can then absorb the nearby dissolved carbon dioxide in the water and become bigger and bigger until it can join the rest of the gases in the atmosphere. Bakers are not the only people interested in yeast. Brewers and winemakers are too. That is because for every molecule of carbon dioxide produced from the fermentation of glucose, an ethanol molecule is produced as well. Ethanol is also known as drinking alcohol and is consumed by people to get intoxicated or drunk. So yeasts like these can be used to produce alcoholic beverages like beer and wine. But during the fermentation of alcoholic products, the environment and the amount of oxygen is carefully controlled. This is because acetic acid bacteria can convert alcohol into acetic acid in the presence of oxygen. Acetic acid is the molecule responsible for the vinegar taste and smell. This means leaving a bottle of wine or beer open for a few days can result in a beer vinegar or wine vinegar if acetic acid bacteria are present. So whether it is making bread, beer, or wine, these little guys are the ones responsible for it, and their most visible action is the carbon dioxide they produce and when viewed under a microscope, they produce beautiful images.